Model predictive control uses a mathematical representation of a system to predict forward into the future and coordinate move plans. Now, multivariate MPC has more than one manipulated variable or controlled variable, where it's trying to coordinate multiple things. And in prior case studies, we showed proportional integral derivative control replaced by LSTM networks and also single input, single output MPC replaced by LSTM networks. And both of those worked really well. In this next exercise, we're going to see how well it does with multivariate control, or where we have two manipulated variables and two controlled variables. Again, this is a very simplified case study. Real MPC applications that are running in chemical plants or refineries may have 50 or 100 MVs and CVs that are coordinating different things. Well, let's just take a look and see how it does going from single input, single output MPC to this MIMO or multiple input, multiple output MPC. Now we're also going to be testing this on this uh, microcontroller, this Arduino Leonardo that is at the base and this uh, temperature shield that's here. This is going to be our test system where we're going to either use a digital twin simulator with just a one flag as TC Lab hardware is true or false. And we'll test it both with the software version of this, uh, the emulated digital twin, and then also with this uh, TC Lab device. So let's jump into the code. I'm gonna go through it just very quickly. We've already done that with the CISO MPC. I'm going to go through the code, run each one, and explain what it's doing, and we can talk about the results. In the end, what we're going to do is then implement it independent of the training on a separate script to see how well it does controlling this little microcontroller. So let's jump into the code. First thing we'll do is come to the apmonitor.com website. And in this case, we're going to go to the dynamic optimization course website for the MIMO example. Go to LSTM Networks, and then at the very bottom, you'll find this example with the source code. And there are a couple of different options. You have the Jupyter Notebook that you can download directly from GitHub, and just right-click on Raw, Save Link As, and then you can save it to your desktop or somewhere else. The other option is to go into Google Colab, and I'm actually going to run both of these, uh, one to for the TC Lab, so I'll run it locally because I need to connect my TC Lab. And I'll open up this LSCM MIMO MPC. And then uh, I'll go ahead and start this. I need to connect the TC Lab uh, to be able to collect the data from the hardware. So just switch that to true if you do have a TC Lab. And then I'll restart and run all. And this will run all of the cells of the notebook and let's just go down here and see if it's calculating and has started. So the first thing is we're going to generate just a step response to be able to train our model for the model predictive controller. It'll identify the model, implement the MPC, and generate some of the data for the MPC. Okay, let me come back here to the Google Colab version. I'll just run all. This is going to use the digital twin or simulator so you don't have to have a TC lab to run this you'll notice first off that you're going to receive an error uh, that gecko is not installed and neither is TC lab so go ahead and insert a code cell and just pip install TC lab and gecko this only needs to run once and once it's run you can comment out this line and then uh, run all again Okay, so I'll run all, and uh, this will start this script where it's going to, first of all, import some of the libraries. Here's the TC Lab hardware. You won't have the option to run it, um, you know, with the TC Lab hardware from the Google Colab because it doesn't have access to your USB drive or to the USB ports. Um, Okay, so here's my identification script, and I'll show the hardware one next to it. Uh, as I, on the right is the actual hardware, on the left is the digital twin simulator. And then I'll set up the MPC controller. Once we've identified the ARX time series model, we'll um, 
pose that as a model predictive controller. And here's the MPC function where we'll first of all insert the measurements, adjust some of the set points, we'll solve the MPC, and then retrieve the manipulated variables Q1 and Q2. Next, we'll generate some data for training the LSTM. This one's going to run for a simulated 90 minutes, but we have a 100 times speed up. There are the set points that it's going to use. And uh, each time, it'll generate different set points. And so I'm just going to start collecting this data. Um, you know, it'll do it uh, faster than real time. You'll see a simulated TC lab there if it's uh, no TC lab hardware is connected. And I'll go ahead and speed this up. It needs to go to up to 5400. On the right, it shows some of the calculations that are happening with the model predictive controller. At every time step, okay, two second intervals, it's going to develop a new move plan. And then it'll take that current Q values, uh, Q1 and Q2, and for the training, to train the LSTM network. So here are the results. Uh, you can see on the left with the simulator, and then on the right, you know, different set points, but with the TC Lab hardware. Next, we want to determine which features are most important to be able to predict Q1. You can see for the first one, it's uh, temperature set point one and two, or sorry, temp temperature set point one and air one. Second is temperature set point two and air two. All right, now what we want to do is uh, do some training of the LSTM now that we have the data. This is going to be with Keras. And we'll go ahead and add an LSTM layer with 100 units and then output two. So we have two 100 unit layers and a dense output of two. There's where we fit. And then we'll plot the loss and save the model. So this is the training. I'll also speed this one up. Um, takes just a couple minutes to train. If you switch over to the GPU runtime, it's typically a little bit faster. OK, so that has completed and there you can see the loss function and also the validation loss and this is a comparison with the TCLab hardware as well. Now this just shows some of that training data and you can see the performance of the LSTM versus the MPC on the bottom. Okay, then moving on, we're going to generate some new set points for the next test. This one is going to be a new sequence of set points. Every time you run it, it's going to generate a different set point sequence. Here's our LSTM controller. We're going to calculate the error. We'll go ahead and format the data for the LSTM import and then do a prediction and then just clip it 0 to 100. And then we'll run the test uh, with this LSTM network. And we're going to run it together with the MPC so that we can see how well they compare. So this is on data that we haven't used for training. We'll run the LSTM model to get the Q values for the control and also the MPC. The MPC are the ones that are going to be implemented. Uh, but we'll see the LSTM output as well and be able to compare it to see how well it did. All right, so here's the output. On the left is a digital twin. On the right is the TC Lab hardware and some sample data that we've generated and collected. You can see they compare and perform very well. Next one, I already let this run. This is just LSTM alone. Now LSTM is controlling the system. There is no control by the model predictive controller. So you can see that it performs really well. Next, we want to be able to deploy this, either the TC Lab microcontroller or the emulated TC Lab package and deploy it so that we can deploy this LSTM model independent of the training set. You need the model name, the scaling, and then the window. And then we're going to pickle everything, the configuration with this Z list and uh, dump it into that file. Now we're going to go ahead and deploy this. So there's some sample code here. I purposely didn't put this in the Jupyter Notebook just to show that it's independent. And you can get the code. Um, just go ahead and copy this and then paste it into any environment where you can run Python. And this might be on an embedded microcontroller, for example, or some other place that you can run Python. Here's the TC Lab hardware. I'm going to leave it as false, first of all, and just run it just to see how well it does with the Digital Twin Simulator. One of the things you'll notice is there'll be an error here. 
uh, because I don't have the, um, you're going to see that you don't have the pickle file or the model file. So I'll go ahead and get those two, put those in the same directory where the script is, and then <clears throat> when I run it again, now it'll run successfully and control the simulated TC lab. You can see this is going to be very fast. It's only using the simulator with um, you know 10 times speed up. Um, so there you can see it uh, did very well, track the set points. Now let's switch it over to true. This is going to communicate with the hardware. I need to get rid of these configuration model parameters. I'm going to use the ones that were generated from the actual uh, microcontroller testing. And then run it again. And this is going to compute real time, so it'll take five minutes. Um, I'll go ahead and speed this up on the video, just so you don't have to wait the five minutes. And I'll go up to 300 seconds, and there you can see how it performed on the actual microcontroller itself. I hope you've enjoyed this exercise. I've done many MPC applications, worked on them, uh, tuned them and uh, in chemical plants and refineries on model predictive control for aircraft uh, and other applications and frankly this surprised me a little bit uh, that it did so well in terms of learning the responses of the MPC and then uh, potentially replacing the MPC especially for maybe simpler applications where you're able to train and have an extensive training set so you don't leave things out outside the training region. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this exercise and uh, I'd love to hear your comments or suggestions for additional content.